sleep. Sleep? You've got to be joking. How can I sleep with all those wild animals out there and all you animals here? Oh, it's a stupid way to coach basketball. How can we run if we can't even walk? Yeah, I reckon you're in a space out totally. For once, you're right. I'm hungry. Sorry, Max. Bacon and eggs are not on the menu. Yeah, who ate the last lot of baked beans last night? Me. And I'm not much good without a hot breakfast. Well, how are we going to cook anyway? We've got no matches. Coffee. I am not even breathing unless I've had my first cup of coffee. There isn't any coffee here. I'm going to strangle Sharon with my bare hands. <laughs> well, she did say she wanted to build up our characters. Well, I'd rather build mine in a nice, warm bed. We have to find our way back first before anyone can do anything to anybody. Well, that's what she's counting on. Sheridan thinks we're a bunch of no-good city kids, useless in the bush. Yeah, well, she's not far wrong. I think we should show what we're made of. That's easy. Jelly. No, CJ's right. I mean, if we wimp out now, she's won. We don't even know where we are. I have a pretty good sense of direction. I'll get us out of here. Why does this worry me? Because you're a face ache. I say we move out. Come on, guys. Up and at them. Oh. to listen to you. You're not part of this team. You yeah, well, neither are you. But I'm the assistant coach. Of can it, Space Brain. Nikki, hang on. I'm not sure we should be heading this way. Well, neither of us are, seeing someone lost the compass. It's not my fault there was a hole in the bag. I remember when I was in the Girl Guide. Big deal! They said that moss used to grow on the side of the trees furthest away from the sun. Right, everybody spread out and find some moss. This is crazy. Hey, there's some over here. You see? The path of the sun is going east to west. So south is over there. We should be heading that way, guys. If we keep changing directions, we're going to be going around in circles, and then we'll really be bushed. Right. So what we have to do is choose a direction and stick to it. Why don't we just wait for Sheridan to come and get us? Because that wasn't part of this stupid exercise. Nikki's right. If Sheridan has to come and haul us out, it means she's won. Let's show her what street kids are made of. If you want to toss it in, fine. I'm no wimp. I want to slog it out. Me too. Yeah, but which direction's the right one? What? OK, let's take a vote. All those who reckon Nikki's right, raise your hand. Well, I still reckon I'm right, and I'm going to head that way. Uh, Tony, I don't think it's a good idea to split up. We were taught that in training. Forget it, Max. I'm not part of the team. And I'm certainly not part of the force. Yeah, but I mean, it's OK. I'll go with Tony. Uh, you don't have to. I'll be fine. Can't let you go out alone. Thanks, CJ. Now that that's settled, let's move out. Come on, troops. See you back in town. <laughs> Are you sure we're going in the right direction? Yes, sure I'm sure. Why? We seem to be getting further and further away from civilization instead of closer. What makes you say that? Well, there's more noises. Hey, the worst it could be is snakes. Red-bellied black snakes or something. Are they really that poisonous? Oh, very. They can kill you in a couple of minutes. Great. Oh, and the bush is getting thicker. Oh, that's funny. I never noticed that. Oh, well, looks like we might have to stay here a couple of days or two. But they've got the food. That's OK. We can live on yams and witchetty grubs. Hey, we might even catch a kangaroo. Sounds gross. <laughs> the bush is like a supermarket, CJ, if you know what to eat. Thank you very much. I'll have a pizza with the works. But if you eat the wrong thing, you could get violently ill and you won't be able to walk for days. Well, we could backtrack, I suppose. CJ, I'll level with you. I was never much of a girl guide. I figured if I got lost, I could always ask a policeman. Well, Max wasn't much help, was he? You're really worried, huh? 
Bush just is my turf. Give me concrete and skyscrapers any day. We can't be far off now. I hope not. Trust me. You are right, though. Bush is getting thicker. Now. You've been saying that for ages. Maybe if you stopped whining, you'd have enough energy to walk with. But I'm hungry and I'm tired. Slip your lip, fungus features. I vote we wait for the search party. You all right, Max? I smell something. Well, it's not me. No, 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 it's a barbecue. A barbecue. Mm. What's keeping you guys? Max can smell a barbecue. You can't have a mirage that smells, Max. You sure? Seems to be coming in loud and clear to me. Chops, steak, sausages, smell that. Come on, guys. There it is. Hey, I recognize this place. We're not far from Westside. Sheridan said us up. Sure did. But we called a bluff. We beat her at her own game. Food. Look at that food. Here's what WTV8 can offer you. Now, I have just signed Michael Sturgis, one of the hottest new producers in town, to an exclusive contract. Michael's not old hat television, and he is signed exclusively to WTV8. So, let's get to the bottom line. Can we talk a deal here? Hey, coach, we made it. Good for you. Now, get out. Well, we thought you might like to know that we're safe, and you're the one who set us up. <laughs> Would you excuse me for just a moment, gentlemen? <laughs> What do you think you are doing? Well, we learnt the value of teamwork, if that's what this stupid exercise was about. Uh, yeah, but there's just one problem. Uh, CJ and Tony are, well, lost. Yeah, well, that's what they get for not trusting me. They went a different way. Teamwork is about sticking together. I thought you would have learnt that by now. We did. It's just that taking orders from Nikki is a mega bath time. I was right, wasn't I? Uh, yeah. Look, Sheridan, I, I think you should send out a search party for them. <laughs> you lost them, you found them. But the Sarge will kill me if I don't report for duty soon. And how do you think he will react when you tell him that you have left two teenagers lost in the bush, probably starving and suffering from exposure? Yeah, well... Right. So I suggest you go and find them. Hang on a minute, Shep. 